Holy Cross High School here in Saskatoon is next and Prince Albert's Carleton Comprehensive Public High School will have students getting swabbed by the end of this week. But for some families, conversations around whether or not to get the test are ongoing. Donna Shell's daughter, Caitlin, is starting grade 9 at Campbell Collegiate this year. Shell says the student is a little nervous about getting the test. They've talked in length about the process, but Shell says the final decision will be her daughter's. For Shell, as a parent, her hesitation has more to do with testing capacity than the test itself. Well, we've seen the lineups for the drive through COVID this past week, and they've been... Um, I'm kind of curious to see statistics on why people are actually going to do that. Is it because they're nervous? Is it because they have symptoms? Um, so I kind of feel like, you know, I'd rather leave it for people that actually need the test as opposed and, and not overload the, the labs. Earlier this month, health officials explained they have the capacity to do a single day of three to 4,000 tests, but can't sustain that level for a prolonged period. This is what's known as um, a surveillance testing. And so this is actually an active monitoring of um, the situations within the school environment. And so this serves as an early warning system uh, for our primary and secondary school system within Saskatchewan. Health officials say they don't expect to see a massive spike in testing once the process begins. And so far, the system has not been overly challenged when it comes to testing capacity. They say they expect to see very few, if any, positive cases as a result of the tests. Morgan Majeski, CBC News, Saskatoon.